Hello guys, welcome back and if this is your first time here, my name is Naomi. So we went up to the mountains this weekend and I had to take down all those heavy duty clothes, all those uh, ski pants and big coats. So I need to put those away and that gave me the idea that I should go through on my things. And we also entering into the time of the year when it's turning into really cold over here. I mean not super super cold, but it's much colder than the fall. So I'm going to put away all those things that I kept through the summer and on the fall, but I'm not wearing them now. And I haven't done this for a long time. I think the last time when I posted a decluttering video, that was my husband's clothes. So it's really time. I think it's been two years I shared anything about my clothing. <laughs> And keep in mind that I work from home so and I have um, messy things to do outside like taking care of the chickens and just very muddy so my clothes are designed around that one and I have less of those clothes when I have to dress up really nicely so the first step that I'm going to do I'm going to take out all of my clothes from the closet and the dresser all the summer all the winter so everything that I own and I'm going to pile it into two piles one that I'm wearing now in this season the next one that I want to store up on the shelf but I still want to see how much I have you know what I find in my closet so if you haven't seen that video where our washing machine broke down <laughs> I will link it down below for you but basically it released all the rust into my white load and this is this is a linen sheet this was the first linen sheet that I invested in so it's got rusty stains everywhere and I know I need to let it go because there's no way I can get out the stain and it's not just one stain like it's all over it so it's done yeah. so I have to get rid of it but I have a hard time because it was really good I really love that and it was very expensive so today is gonna be the day I'm going to let this go okay that's not bad here's one thing I want to share with you I have this coat I think it was from Costco I don't know how many years ago it's it's believed in our previous home I had that already for years so I have no clue how long I have that but I'm going to keep it because what I love about this and I'm trying to buy the same for Joat and for the kids that it comes with a bag which I saw a few minutes ago but I don't see it now <laughs> But I can just roll it up so basically I can just store it on a very tiny space so that's very helpful if you don't have enough space or even if you just keep in mind when you're traveling and you have limited space in the car I can just roll it into this little bag which I will show you once I find it <laughs> and I can also be even just put it behind my neck and use it as a pillow so it has a multiple good side of that Okay, so I put all the things that are on hangers here for now and these are the things that I usually wear on the summer however I have some crossing things there so this is a dress that I really love but with a leggings which I have two of them I have a black one and I have a gray one that is in the washing machine now so I can just layer them like this pants is something that is for the summer but you have seen me wearing this because I can just put a thick sweatshirt underneath so it has a top like that and it's 
pretty loose fit so I'm able to work with that to add layers so this is something that normally I would wear on the summer but I'm able to get away with that indoor okay so this pile actually this one goes over there I'm going to roll it up very soon so this is the ski pants no I don't ski but we are going to the area that is cold like that up in the mountains so I need those two the pants and the jacket but this is not something I generally would wear when I go to the store oh here, here's the bag okay I can do that so see it can fit into this bag these are my staples so this is something i wear every single day these are just a very simple long sleeves and i like to buy them at marshall's because they have a very reasonable price and no stains in the armpit because with the second hand store i find these are pretty used so i like to purchase this type of things uh, as brand new so these are all very tight fit snuggly fit and i have a white one that is a classic i like stripes as you can tell but basically i'm going with um uh, some kind of pattern or color here and then i've got my sweatshirts and some would may say hey this is not minimalistic to have that much sweatshirt you know what i'm trying to minimizing the cold here <laughs> uh, i'm really cold all the time so uh, sometimes I wear two of these and I have one more I really love this one because I can layer them so one of the key that I figured along as I created my capsule wardrobe is when I'm layering things so this snugly fit shirt uh, that's the reason I have the snugly ones because this is the first layer so if I have something with a fancy fashion following uh, arm sleeves that is a little bit wider these days then it would be hard to layer so I just have something snugly underneath and also the neckline that is a crucial point to be able to layer because when I have a button shirt um, I wear those at home so that's a nice layer but I cannot put anything above it because it just looks weird with so many layers on the neck so I just go with the simple one that it has a bigger um, opening on the neck but as I'm layering and I'm putting thicker and thicker shirts they have a closer closing on the neck and that way it keeps me warm and also it just looks better than just having I'm, I'm seeing many many sweatshirts in the store that I love and it looks beautiful but they have a very big opening and it's always always a headache to layer with some other shirts so I'm always buying the ones that are that are close to the neck so here's another example this has a very high neck and this is something that I would wear on the top of my sweatshirt okay this is something I'm going to keep and I have this again I don't know how many years ago but it's been a long time and I find this at Goodwill but this is still I think okay condition <laughs> And I really love this even though I don't wear that this much anymore because I just simply don't go out that much I'm working from home most of the time I just need to have clothes on that keeps me warm and it's okay if it gets dirty so this is the exception <laughs> that um, if I have to look decent somewhere I can wear that so I'm not going to get rid of it even though I don't wear it that much but when I need it I really need it this is something I bought this year and I think it goes really well with the other uh, beige because I love beige okay so the next I'm going to put them into categories I have the winter clothes and I have the summer ones so with the winter one I'm going to separate pants and shirts so that will be easy to process how many I have and also I can tell that I'm going to let go this purse I have a little brown backpack and my neck is terrible even with a little purse like that that is super light it's just I don't know it does something that I get a neck pain very quickly so I don't like that I don't prefer that I just want to show you that backpack so it's not like a duffel bag you know <laughs> I think it's pretty decent for a backpack I prefer that one because both my hands are free as I shop in the grocery store and it really suits my needs and I've got this from um, 
don't get and that one I'm just going to pack it with my summer clothes because we have a colder weather now than to be able to wear this one so I'm just going to set this aside here in one of my cleaning video I fixed that one and I'm so glad I did because this is a staple I love this so much because I figured in the morning when I wake up I have a hard time to get up because it's cold not because I'm sleeping necessarily but because it's cold so I have this next to my bed <laughs> and every morning uh, this is the first thing that I put on and once I'm up and the engine is going I'm not going to be this cold but this helps me to get up and also I like to wear this outside as well like it's my ultimate go-to everywhere because it's got this nice hood and it's just super soft and very warm and I know you guys are going to ask this question. I got this from Amazon, so I will leave the link um, for you there. It's not a bad quality, I would say, at all. And here's another thing that I like to do when I declutter. So once the whole entire closet is empty, I'm starting to return those stuff that I know for a hundred percent for sure that I'm going to keep. And the ones that are my favorite and I love to wear them every day so now all the hanging items are back I think for the most part we'll see if I came across with other but no I think it's all there and what I really like about the way I organize this one is on the right side I have a lighter layer and I have the vest so when I once I have the clothes on I can come here to the closet and put on the things like the vest if I need extra and the coat so basically I'm going from the thin layer to the thicker one so I know if I'm cold I'm gonna look for the things on the left and if I'm not as cold I'm gonna go to the right so that gives me a visual to where to go how I want to put my clothes on this one is my husband's side um, he seems like he has more because I hang his shirts because he goes through very quickly on these and it's just an easier way I don't have to fold that much they don't get wrinkled and he can look at them easier so <laughs> that's how we store them so if I would put away all the shirts it wouldn't look that much but we like that system so this one I'm going to let this go I loved the pattern on it I think it's really cute however the color it only works with a few items the rest is just clashing so I have a limited uh, use of that also it's acrylic so it makes my hair very static -y. okay let's look through this lovely pile so this is my pajama bottom i don't know where is the top that's weird okay this is a pants that i should never wear in public because it's got a hole on it but yet i'm going to keep that because this is for dirty jobs when i'm painting or doing some kind of you know that i can be dirty this is still in a decent condition this is something i would wear at home when i want to be comfortable uh i would say almost comfortable but not really <laughs> and the reason for that so it has a good cut it has a good shape and you know why is it not comfortable because it's so thick and it's very heavy hideous on me it just makes me very bulky it's it's i look like a sausage oh this is my staple that's the jeans that i wear okay this is a dress that is super pretty however it's very staticky so i might going to let this go this one is it's stretched out so i have a friend who is bigger than me so i'm just going to pass this on her okay this is a super cute coat and it has a good brand name and i got this from a friend it was a hand-me-down and i wore this for years but i figured there weren't a lot of time i was able to wear that and the reason for that I'm kind of like a person where there's 72 degrees and I'm cold and it's 73 I'm hot so there's a fine line between that <laughs> and this coat it's very thin so either I need a very thick coat or I just wear a sweatshirt and that's enough and 
it didn't really keep me warm enough so this is a tricky one like it's a very thin layer maybe if, if I would work in the office and I have to look decent just to step into the office and be there I would say maybe I would keep it but now I don't have to there's not a lot of time I could get a good use of it even though it fits me perfectly I get a lot of compliment when I wear that but still it doesn't serve me so here's a pants that I don't like to wear as a long one however I'm going to cut it so I'm going to have a short out of that so that's a keep but it goes to the summer pile okay with that sweatshirt this is super comfy it's it's a very high quality I really like it however I have a friend who really wants this and I'm going to give it to her and the reason why I'm getting this rid of because I cook a lot and I know I'm supposed to wear an apron and most of the time I do but on those days when I either I don't have time or I forget to put it on that's when stuff happens and this type of fabric shows everything immediately so if I fry something and there's some grease that goes onto that it will stay there forever so this other type of um, sweatshirts that I like to use if I get some grease on it accidentally or this type one it doesn't show that quickly than this one so this is good for when you do I don't know what something else but <laughs> I would say 75% I'm cooking when I'm home so this is not um, not for me I don't want to ruin it so I'm just going to pass it on to my friend who really loved that that goes in here oh actually you know what I don't want to keep that about this shirt so this is a really nice quality I find this at Marshalls and it has a brand I don't know I'm not familiar with brands I don't care about brands I just really buy what I feel and think it's nice but I have to tell you this is a nice quality though and the reason I don't like it this I I thought it's gonna be a very fun look and it is don't get me wrong but as I'm editing or <laughs> I don't have to do anything in that just wear it and I feel this cord things in there like it's constantly I, I can't warm it up with my arm instead of it's sucking out all the warm <laughs> from my arm I don't know I just I don't enjoy to wear that and I tried it to fold that back but then my arm was cord so it's completely pointless to have this for me because I would prefer to wear something else and on this side now I just put everything here all in one place okay so you get to see what um, my capsule wardrobe have okay so I don't have a clue how many items I have and I still have to check in the washing machine but it's a dark cycle I don't think I have anything in there oh I have one leggings I have leggings there I remember so I'm going to count that one legging and also I have these pants that I wear all the time I just really like this one and I have that sweatshirt on me I'm not really sure when people are counting they count their um, just only the outwear and not something that they wear I count even my pajamas in there and everything so I don't know let's just count how many items I have not that it's really matter Twenty eight the leggings is twenty nine thirty thirty two plus the pajamas. I don't think I should count this in there. But I mean I don't care about numbers, so I'm just counting it together because I know some of some of you would ask this question like about how many items I have. And this one am I going to use a pajama? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't decided yet and i didn't count this in there because i only wear this up in the mountains the great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes the day has begun you spin around you spin around you laugh to yourself and I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. 
that will go out of this room and from this closet the next video that is coming up watch out for that one because i will share with you some inspiration to decorate the christmas tree and we're gonna be up in the mountains as well and also i'm going to have a free gift to all my subscribers because i didn't want to pick a few i wanted to figure out something where i can give a present to everybody so watch out for that one if you enjoyed this video don't forget to share that with friends and family because that helps my channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon bye